Yo boys, so today we're going to be talking about utilizing lower reps for bigger biceps and why that is more effective in my opinion and that with my experience, lower reps has always been the way to go to get the big biceps. First, I'd like to start off with that. There is a place for both low reps and high reps for hypertrophy. Even if your only goal is building muscle, there is still a place for low reps. I don't feel I've made a good enough effort to push that point in my channel because I enjoy higher reps. That's what I tend to do most often. I haven't really talked about low reps that much I tend to always be like oh yeah bro do like high reps because not that many people do high reps however I still do have low reps in my training it does not mean you should not utilize low reps and biceps is a case where low reps are more effective and I'm going to get into why that is now people will say that don't do the high reps because when you're doing high reps it actually leads to junk volume which is completely valid however I have some there's other ways I can see it where I actually get a benefit of higher reps however with biceps I tend to find Majority of the time with me, doing high reps on biceps always leads to the junk volume. I've actually found that I can go high reps on triceps. It's actually very good. And there's other reasons I like high reps on triceps. But when I do high reps on biceps, a lot of that is junk volume. And I'm not actually getting the intensity that I am seeking when I'm training arms to make more gains. The number one problem with high reps with biceps and why I prefer low reps is that as you know, you should be training to failure to maximize your gains. I feel this is very, very important. You must be training to failure. However, when you're doing high reps biceps, it's in a place that when you get a really big pump with biceps, you're not able to go to failure even if you fail on your last set. You may think in your head, I've gone to failure, but your bicep muscle has not actually failed. It's kind of just like fatigued from all the lactic acid in there. As well as this, the big pump will reduce the range of motion at the top and make you fail prematurely before you actually muscularly fail with your bicep. So how many reps should you do for your biceps? For me personally, I tend to prefer six to 12 and 12 is like a maximum. You can do five as well. However, I tend to stick in the six to 12 rep range. And I will not go over 12 for biceps. As soon as I go over 12 reps, I tend to get to the point where all the lactic acid in my muscle is actually messing up my set. I'm not actually able to like train hard. Is I'm actually failing because of the lactic acid in my bicep and the pump is just like absolutely ridiculous. I like, can't even get like the, the range of motion that I want when I'm doing the exercise. This is a side note. However, I think find it very very difficult to progress on bicep exercises when using high reps i do not find this with other exercises like high reps on triceps i can't i've even progressed on tricep exercises doing over 20 reps and i'm progressively overloading on that every single week going to failure and that has been fine for me however on biceps as soon as i do high reps I'm never able to progress that much. And I think that is because of the previous points I've mentioned about the lactic acid, the range of motion, and not being able to actually take my biceps to failure and that they're failing prematurely because of the lactic acid in the biceps. This is gonna be a quick part of the video, but I'm gonna go over the bicep exercise that I like. I'm going to make a specific video on good bicep exercises, but as like an um, overall statement, I stick to dumbbells. I do not like barbell bicep exercises. I do actually like the strict curl with the easy bar. However, that is very, very fatiguing on me because I'm in a fixed position. It tends to impact my pull-up recovery as well as annoying my forearm. Like this line down my forearm, I always get pain even if I do higher reps and I do not want to do higher reps. I tend to find if I'm using dumbbells, I can go to I can go as low as five reps with dumbbells, recover fine, good intensity, and not get any injuries or pains using the dumbbell. So that's going to be my recommendation for biceps however i will have a separate video on the bicep exercise that i actually like right boys just to finish off the video i'll go over what i said again very briefly so six to 12 reps for biceps is ideal in my opinion you can go a little bit lower if you feel comfortable with that but be prepared for the recovery and injury repercussion that you may face if you're not prepared to go lower than six reps also why do we not like the high reps because we build up that much lactic acid in our arms if we go to the higher end of the rep range, we get to a point where we're not actually taking our biceps to muscular failure and that we're just building up that much lactic acid in our muscle that we just fail prematurely. You might think, well, does that not apply to other muscle groups? It does. In certain scenarios, I find that when I do triceps above 12 reps, that works incredibly well for me. And sometimes you, I've mentioned that some exercise, I'll go above 20. 
20 reps. I do not recommend that other people go above 20 reps. I recommend that you can still include high reps on some exercises, but I'll make a separate video on giga high reps and where to incorporate giga high reps. So I not, do not recommend it for every single exercise. Right boys, thank you for watching this video. Hopefully this helped you and maybe you've been experiencing this yourself. You're like, oh bro, I'm not progressing on my bicep exercises. I don't know why. Maybe it's because you've been doing the high reps and maybe you need to try a bit of the low rep stuff. No, a bit of low rep action with the biceps. So anyway, thank you for watching. As usual, any questions, leave in the comments and I'll answer them to the best of my ability. Any ideas or anything, let me know. So yeah.